Welcome everybody, it's great to be with you. Uh, get a little bit of an unusual uh, location perhaps for the update. Um, by the way, you know, some people think cemeteries are either very morbid or morose or depressing in some ways, and I really don't see them that way. Uh, to be honest with you, I, I see them as a way of reflecting in a very almost joyful way about our end, you know, our purpose in life. It helps to remind me of where I'm going because we're all like the people that are here at some point. And again, it's not negative, it's not being depressed or again, morbid, but at some point, you know, we're, we're, this life passes and God willing, we're gonna go on to the eternal life, uh, the glory and the happiness and the joy of being with God. Uh, but we came out here today because uh, we just recently had the passing of Mike Reedy. And for those that may not be familiar with Mike, uh, he'd been associated with the Abbey for I think close to 40 years. Uh, he'd been a professor here, a coach here, uh, athletic director, um, Special Olympics. I mean, just so many things was he involved with here. And he was such a, a wonderful, warm, good guy. Uh, I remember when I arrived here in 2004, he was one of the first professors that I met. And immediately he just made me feel so welcomed and kind of brought me in and uh, just had such an ease about him and just, just helped me so tremendously. And I just am forever grateful for, for the friendship that I shared with him for his time, the time that I was here. But I know for the students that had him in the past, uh, whether as a, as, a, as a teacher, professor, or as a coach, uh, life-changing. As I listened to some of their stories about how he and Bonnie affected everything they did in life uh, beyond Belmont Abbey College um, and the way they stayed in touch with them even you know years, tens, twenty years when they've left the Abbey. Uh, Bonnie, uh, you know, both Bonnie and Mike I think treated uh, each and every one of our students like they were one of their children. Um, and, and our students I think always appreciated that. So behind me if you can see it there's actually a tent back there that is the the actual uh, burial site of Mike, the uh, funeral took place uh, a couple of days ago. And it was just wonderful uh, to be here, to be with Bonnie. Obviously because of the COVID, the church was restricted to, I think we had about 50 people were allowed uh, at the funeral. But what was really touching, and it meant a lot to Bonnie, uh, is that once we were out here, and after Abbot Placid had done the, uh, the blessing and so forth, uh, the entire tennis team was here for that. Uh, they were all dressed in their warm-ups, it looked great, and um, they, they were all there in front of, uh, you know, the, the burial site, and it, just, it, it was just really wonderful, and it meant so much to Bonnie. And I think sometimes in life we don't realize that these, what we think are maybe small things that we're doing, we don't realize the impact that they have on someone, the love that they express to someone. Uh, and in addition to that, they had flowers that they, they gave her. So it just was a wonderful thing. It was like this continuation of what, uh, you know, she and Mike had been doing for all these years to have, you know, this, this entire tennis program here to, to honor Mike and to pray for him and to support Bonnie. It was really just a wonderful thing to see. Um, and also, you know, while I'm out here, I, I often will come by here and, and say some prayers for the, the monks and all, all, everybody here, uh, you know, who's gone before us. And, You'll see the tombs. I mean, there, you'll see tombstones out here that go back to the early 1800s. Um, you know, some of the birth dates, and it's just a, it's amazing to think of each one of the lives of these monks uh, who lived here and loved here and sacrificed here, uh, taught here, coached here, serviced. You know, you know, in all different kinds of ways, administration and otherwise. Um, it's important for us to appreciate that and to recognize that that's part, maybe a you know, most substantial part of what makes Belmont Abbey College so special. It's these kinds of relationships, uh, this kind of friendship that develops here, um, the, the mentorship, the, the love uh, of those that, you know, that work here and that have served here all these years. Uh, so it's a, it's, it's a good thing. I encourage you, if you're on campus at some point, to come over and uh, maybe just say a little prayer and, and just reflect. Reflect on all the, all the individuals that have sacrificed and given their lives to be here. Um, obviously right behind me is Abbot Leo Hayde, uh, who was both bishop and abbot of Belmont Abbey. So again, there's real history here, uh, but there's also lives, real lives that were lived here and sacrificed for us. So I encourage you to come out, say the prayer, and just be familiar with all those that have made this possible for us to be here today. Uh, speaking of today, it was also Community Day. Uh, again, the COVID thing has us all a little bit, you know, changing our schedules. And so normally we would, we would have a fall break 
Uh, because of COVID, we tried to keep the semester more compressed, and so we didn't take the full fall break. But today was a community day. There were no classes. Uh, the morning started with uh, our students, faculty, staff going out and actually uh, just beautifying the place, uh, you know, just picking up little bits of garbage if they see any and just trying to fix the place up and make it that much nicer. Uh, we had mass out on the lawn in front of the Basilica. There's adoration over there. Uh, there's events all this afternoon coming up, uh, including dunk, dunks with monks, uh, which is having some donuts with some monks, I think, out in the quad. But there was a barbecue out there earlier. Uh, there's some events tonight as well. I think there's a capture the flag under the lights out on the field this evening. So we tried to make it a little bit of a special day, uh, something to you know bring the community together, give a little bit of break from just the grind of school and work and those kinds of things. So uh, it's been it's been a, it's been a wonderful day. I will say at Mass, one thing I really appreciate is uh, the entire softball team was there. Uh, they were in their uniforms because they have a game coming up, uh, but that was really a great thing to see. I, I know many of the women on the team are not Catholic. Uh, and so the fact that they came out of respect uh, and appreciation for, you know, the Abbey and, and the monastic community and, and just everybody here, uh, again, it's these small things that sometimes you don't think are a big deal, but they, they say a lot about you because of the sacrifice you make and the, the, thing, and the things that you do. So again, wonderful to see them. Uh, COVID, uh, you know, again, we're dealing with COVID, so I might as well mention it. Uh, again, thank you, Jesus. Uh, it's amazing to me. We only have uh, one student and we had one staff member. Uh, both are isolating off campus, uh, but it's continued to go extraordinarily well for us now in terms of managing the process. And as I said, I, I just thank everybody. Uh, I can't thank you enough. I, I, I'll sound redundant, keep saying it over and over, but I really do appreciate uh, just how everybody's gone along with everything that has to be done, you know, and the mass, the distancing, uh, the, the changes in how food's delivered, you know, classes and so forth. I mean, just all of these things which could make it difficult for everybody to the point of, you know, not doing it. Um, I have found our students and faculty and staff, administration, the monastic community, uh, everybody is just so upbeat and positive and happy. Uh, you know, just the fact that we're all here together uh, is just wonderful to see and I'm just, I'm just so appreciative of it. So keep it going. We got, you know, let's keep this thing happening all the way through uh, as we finish up the semester uh, just before Thanksgiving here on campus and then we'll have a, a couple of weeks uh, for exams and preparation for exams uh, following uh, Thanksgiving. Uh, wonderful, uh, you know, other things going on. Uh, we have a, an anonymous donor. Uh, I'll tell you this little story quickly, if I can. Uh, he had called me when he heard about the Rita Lewis Garden, and he said, uh, I want to put up a flagpole, uh, you know, flag and flagpole uh, near the garden. And I said to this individual, uh, you know, we, we actually already have one out there. And I said, it's, you know, it's a decent flagpole, and, you know, it's, it's nicely done. It's lit at night. And, uh, but I, this is divine providence. I had just, a matter of fact, when I was talking to him on the phone, I was driving from the athletic fields. I had just been out there watching some of the softball players, and I'd been watching some of the lacrosse players. And I happened to look over, and our flag that we, you know, will honor for the national anthem is this tiny little flag, this tiny little flagpole that's between two bushes in the outfield of the baseball field or, or stadium. Um, and uh, you can hardly see it. So this is divine providence. So he calls me about this flag for the Rita Lewis Memorial Garden, which we already have. And I said to him, however, we don't have one for athletics. And I, I described what I just described to you. And he said, uh, well, why don't, we, why don't we do it there? And I said, fantastic. Now I said, I, I would really like to do something of substance. I said, I would really like to do, you know, the largest flagpole we could, big flag, have it lit, and, uh, and put it in a location where all of the venues then have this flag. I know there's also a flagpole out by the uh, women's softball. Again, a relatively small flag that just serves just the softball. So we are going to have an 80-foot flagpole. The flag is 15 feet by 25 feet and will be lit at night. So I am excited about this and I can't wait to see it. It's another one of those providential uh, things that happened to us where I wouldn't have said to you, hey, number one on my list is, is to get a flagpole for the field out there. But somehow God provides, and the generosity of this, this, this benefactor who has been very kind and generous to Belmont Abbey College over the years in, in all ways, with his time, talent, and treasures, um, wanted to do this. And so uh, 
He wanted to remain anonymous, so he'll know who he is, and I'm thanking him right now uh, because this is exciting, and everybody that has seen and talked about the project is really excited for it. I hope you will be too once we have it up, and it should be up. My understanding is before Thanksgiving, we should we should hopefully have it in place. So I'm looking forward to that. Um, other than that, strategic planning keeps moving forward. Uh, enrollment is uh, just going fantastic. Uh, we right now, I think we are something like 60 deposits ahead of last year at this time. And as I've told you before, last year was the all-time record for enrollment for Belmont Abbey College. And so to be 60 ahead of last year is just phenomenal. Tells you about the dedication, the work of everybody, you know, Martin and others. Uh, so we got an Abbey experience coming up here, I think, um, in a few weeks. I think we could put that up on the screen. We'll have the date for you. Uh, so anybody that you may know, uh, if you're watching this and you're a student uh, and, and you're looking for college, please please come and visit. If uh, if you know some students who might be interested in the college, if you're an alumnus or you know a friend of the college or you're working here at the college or going to school here, um, you know please share that and let them know about the date. And uh, hopefully we'll be looking at next year uh, another all-time new record uh, with new students coming to the Abbey. So. Uh, again, things are going extraordinarily well. We've been very blessed with people like Mike and the monks and all those that have come before us. So keep praying for us. Uh, again, my gratitude is just, I'm overflowing with gratitude for everything that you've done to help make it possible for us to be here today. So again, thanks for everything and I'll see you around campus. Take care and God bless.